CCS. The word is an acronym for carbon dioxide capture and storage, a technology that captures carbon dioxide or CO2 emitted from industrial sources and stores it into deep underground geological formations. CCS is expected to be a key measure in the mitigation of global warming. CCS technology is already being used around the world. In Japan, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, or METI, launched a demonstration project in 2012 in Tomakomai, Hokkaido. The project in this port city is shedding light on the new possibilities for CCS. The city of Tomakomai is a leading industrial base on the northern island of Hokkaido. For many years, oil and natural gas fields have been developed here. That's why it was believed the geological formations in this region would be suitable for the storage of carbon dioxide. In order to store carbon dioxide, formations with high permeability are needed. A sandstone sample is put into a water tank and injected with air. The air flows through the rock. Formations formed by rocks such as these are suitable for storing carbon dioxide and are called reservoirs. There must also be a cap rock that acts as a lid covering the reservoir. Cap rocks are made of mudstone and similar rocks which are composed of fine particles that are packed together like clay so that air cannot pass through. A reservoir and cap rock. This combination of geological structure is utilized to store carbon dioxide. CCS is a technology that aims to capture the carbon dioxide emitted from industrial sources and store and seal it underground. In 2010, a survey was started to obtain a detailed understanding of the geological structure in the Tomakomai region. METI made a technical assessment based on the findings of the survey. As a result of the assessment, the go-ahead for the start of Japan's first large-scale CCS demonstration project in Tomakomai was made in 2012. This project aims for the practical use of CCS technology by 2020 and is being carried out over nine years in the western part of the Tomakomai port. The four-year span from 2012 was allotted as the preparation period. During this time, the construction and installation of the facilities were carried out. These are the main facilities. The facilities to capture carbon dioxide from gas containing CO2. This CO2 absorption tower was installed in 2015. And it's a huge structure, 48 meters high. This is an injection well that will send the captured carbon dioxide underground. Engineers are drilling the injection well, utilizing equipment with the maximum drilling capability in Japan. Monitoring devices are also being set up. These devices will track the state of the carbon dioxide underground. Preparations are being made to ensure that the project progresses safely. In March 2016, the demonstration test plant was completed. In April 2016, the injection of carbon dioxide began. How then is the carbon dioxide actually captured and sent into the underground reservoirs? This is a gas supply facility in the Idemitsu Kosan oil refinery, which is adjacent to the Tomakomai demonstration plant. Gas containing carbon dioxide is sent from this facility by a pipeline to the Tomakomai demonstration plant facilities. The 48-meter-high CO2 absorption tower uses a chemical solvent, amine, to absorb the carbon dioxide. 
In the Tomakomai demonstration project, a two-stage CO2 absorption process has been applied. The three towers comprise the main equipment in this advanced process. In the tallest tower, the CO2 absorption tower, gas containing CO2 rises. At the same time, an amine solution flows downward. The CO2 quickly binds to the amine molecules because of their high reactivity. In the lower part, at the first stage of the tower, the amine solution absorbs around 70% of the CO2 in the gas. Then, in the upper part at the second stage of the tower, additional amine solution absorbs the rest of the CO2. The amine solution, which has become rich in CO2, is then sent to the other towers where the CO2 is recovered. The operating pressure of the low pressure flash tower is lower than that of the absorption tower. The difference in pressure releases around 70% of the CO2 in the amine solution. Next, in the CO2 stripping tower, the remaining 30% of the CO2 is released by heating the amine solution. In this two-stage process, most of the CO2 is recovered in the low-pressure flash tower without heating, thereby drastically reducing the energy requirement for heating the amine solution. The capture of carbon dioxide is costly, but through this energy-saving process, the practical use of CCS technology has become closer to reality. え、世界の大規模CCSプロジェクトの中でえ、アミン溶液は最も数多く利用されておりますが、トマコマイで採用したアミンの二段級手法は世界で最初の実施例となります。分離回収エネルギーは 従来のアミン砲の2分の1から3分の1に削減されましたので省エネルギーの観点では世界のトップランナーとなりました。The captured carbon dioxide is now sent to the compression facility. Here, the CO2 is compressed and injected into deep offshore sub-seabed reservoirs. This building houses the heads of the injection wells, which extend far below the seabed. For this demonstration project, two injection wells were drilled. One reaches a formation between the depths of 1,000 to 1,200 meters and is called the Moibetsu Formation. The other extends into a formation between 2,400 to 2,800 meters. It's called the Takinoe Formation. The pores of the rocks forming the reservoirs are filled with saline formation water. The injected carbon dioxide pushes the water out and enters these pores. The capture and injection of carbon dioxide is carried out 24 hours a day. <laughs> Some 100,000 tons of CO2 will be stored each year. During the three-year period from 2016, more than 300,000 tons will be stored. Tomokomai CCS 実証試験は分離回収から貯留までのCCSを全体を一貫システムとして実証するものです。またCCSが安全かつ安心できるシステムであることを実証するものです。an underground monitoring system is essential for conducting the demonstration project safely. Temperature and pressure sensors have been set in the injection wells, and in addition to these sensors, seismometers have been set in the observation wells. There are three observation wells. In addition, ocean bottom seismometers and other devices are continuously monitoring the sub-seabed conditions. Geological monitoring was started before the injection of CO2 into the reservoirs. The monitoring will continue during the three-year period of CO2 injection 
as well as for two years after termination. CCS, one of the most promising measures for mitigating global warming. In the northern lands of Japan, a large-scale demonstration project is being conducted with the aim of verifying the practical use of CCS technology in Japan. There has been a great increase in interest from people in Japan and abroad toward the Tomakomai Demonstration Project. The Tomakomai Demonstration Project received a Certificate of Recognition from the Carbon Sequestration Leadership Forum, or CSLF, an international initiative with the mission of advancing the development of CCS around the world. Japan CCS Company Limited was also nominated to take a leading role in CCS endeavors in the Asia-Pacific region. By extending its reach from Tomakomai to the rest of the world, the Tomakomai project could become a bridge to the future of our planet.